And I just wanted to thank the board. I know you all have uh, jobs and um, businesses to run, and this wasn't even a scheduled meeting. So thank you for taking the time. The, the public should feel pretty reassured and confident that their investment is protected by this group. And we've seen a, um, an incredible amount of work the last couple weeks. And also, I wanted to, uh, Tom, you've gotten enough love today. I just wanted to say thanks to the crew back here. <laughs> we've been coming to meetings for, hold on, hold on. We've been coming to meetings for about 17 months, both here and when we were working with the Cintiq Committee. And, and there has been one meeting or one rally or one event where you guys haven't shown up in force. And it's acknowledged, it's recognized, it's appreciated by ourselves, by the Davis family, by the Raiders. And we've designed a spectacular building and we can't wait to watch you guys build it. So thank you. Yeah, I think it's pretty remarkable. Uh, we've said this before, just the, the pace at which this community works and the cohesiveness and you see the breadth of the talent that's up there on that committee and, and what they've been able to do from the get-go, from the Adelson family, uh, through the Cintiq committee, the governor, I mean, everybody's support has been overwhelming. Uh, and you saw the culmination of that in today's vote. Mark, any, any concern with the owners not approving this thing? Or I'll, I'll let you know about? Tuesday. You can yeah. text me on Tuesday. We're on the agenda. What about UNLV's assurances that, that, that they'll be taken care of? I mean, We've started that process, and, and that's you heard in, you heard today. That's one of the next things that we have to get accomplished. Mark, does it feel like you can... I know there's a lot to do still, but yeah. take a deep breath and forge on how? Um, maybe in about three and a half years. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit that. We have a lot of work to do. We're excited about it. The organization's excited about it. We've been looking forward to getting a stadium project done for the better part of a decade, um, and we took a big step today. When you say three and a half years, you saw what happened with Englewood today. There are, there are things that prop up in these things sometimes that Certainly. you can't prepare for, right? Certainly. Is Absolutely. you kind of wait to take your breath? Well, I was using three and a half years because I'm hoping we're open in three and a half years. We're going to stay on that timeline until... Um, until someone tells me that we're not on that timeline. You're always concerned. I mean, as, as Ed mentioned right there, I mean, we heard what, what happened in Southern California, and they're being very strategic about what they're doing down there. They want to build the right facility, and you don't want to be rushed, and we don't want that either. But this was a big step. We'll go to the Chicago meetings with the NFL and hopefully get approval on Tuesday and then continue with some of the other documents and steps that you heard Chairman Hill mention. In terms of the design, you said when you're ready, but when, when would that be able to I don't know what the timetable is. I mean, we're pretty close, and when we're ready, we want it to be a, a pretty good moment, a big moment for the community, for everybody here, uh, a building that they're going to be proud of for the next 30, 40, 50 years. So when we're ready, we'll, we'll do something special.